had a vision of a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to Holy Mass, and to all of those joining us via live stream. Today's Mass is being offered for Angel Cafaro, uh, for the repose of the soul of Angel Cafaro, offered by Michelle McMahon. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, in the covenant of your Christ, you never cease to gather to yourself from all nations a people growing together in unity through the Spirit. Grant, we pray, that your church, faithful to the mission entrusted to her, may continually go forward with the human family and always be the leaven and the soul of human society to renew it in Christ and transform it into the family of God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of a man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all? And what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the people has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. 
Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the, the Lord, Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Bless, Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. With the coming of Christ to the kingdom, to earth, with the coming of Christ to earth, ushered in the kingdom of God. And with that kingdom comes a call, a call for transformation and a call for evangelization. Now you see in, in the reading and in the gospel, Paul was evangelizing. He was transforming not only himself, but those that he encountered. That's why he said to them, I have to feed you milk first because you're not ready yet to eat something as heavy as steak, say. So, in other words, you've got to give them the spiritual food that they're ready to receive. And that kind of is paralleled by where they are in their spiritual journey. Are they still fleshly? Are they still lustful and greedy and jealous? Those are things of the flesh. And so that's what Paul was referring to in some of his words there in the first reading. Our Lord also said, you know, I have to go to other towns because he had to also evangelize. He came. He was the reason to announce the kingdom of God. And that, too, is our mission. Not only are we to be transformed internally to become less fleshy, but we are to then go out into the world and announce the gospel, announce the arrival of God's kingdom here on earth. The 
it's unfortunate that you know there are more ex-Catholics than Catholics. I was reading Bishop Barron, and that's a point he made. That means that many have left the Catholic Church. You know, we have to make sure we do the watering and the planting. Now, is that all our responsibility? Is that our fault? No, but we have to do our part. We have to make sure to do our part. And if they have left, we have to do our part to bring our brothers and sisters back, back into mission, because Christ chose the Catholic Church for that mission. That's why she holds the fullness of the truth. He entrusted the fullness of the truth. He entrusted it to Peter. That's the mission. And our other brothers and sisters in other Christian churches also have that mission. But what has happened, unfortunately, because of the fragmentation, some of the body of truth breaks off. So the term we use in theology is, or ecclesiology is that the fullness of the truth subsists in the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church was established for mission, to announce the kingdom of God. But for us to be effective at that, we have to be transformed. The evangelizers have to be transformed so that then we can go out and announce with healthy zeal, charitable zeal, and show that joy that we feel in our hearts where the kingdom of God dwells. Remember, the Holy Spirit is within you. The Holy Spirit dwells within you. And the Holy Spirit is what gives us the words and the approach we need when we come to an individual. So when you see our brothers and sisters who have left the church, don't be afraid. Don't be judgmental, but be loving towards them. Maybe say, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you left. What happened? You know, and maybe that would open the door for a conversation. You know, there's also a large population of people who claim no religion. They call them nuns, N-O-N-E-S, nuns another large segment. So again, you know, we're not here for our own benefit only. We are our brother's keeper. And so we have to reach out. We have to reach out in love and gentleness, but in truth. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Father and ask his help in the mission he has entrusted to us. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, Pope Francis, and all clergy, that they be inspired by the Holy Spirit as they shepherd God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all civil leaders that they govern for the common good and to uphold the dignity of all persons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those ill with the coronavirus, for those who have succumbed to it, and for all families who have lost loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the safety of all first responders, medical personnel, and researchers in their united effort to overcome our present health crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the deceased, that they be welcomed by God's love in lavish mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift all these petitions to your merciful and gracious ear. Help us to be faithful to the mission you entrusted to us, all for your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive with kindness the offerings we bring you, O Lord, and grant that your church, which came forth from the sight of Christ as he slept on the cross, may ever draw her holiness from participation in this mystery, living by it always and responding worthily to her founder, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, holy, 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 God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Felipe, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. One of the soldiers opened his side with a lance, and at once there came forth blood and water, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by the sacrament of your Son, we implore you, Lord, to make fruitful the work of your church. For by it you constantly reveal the fullness of the mystery of salvation to the poor, whom you, whom you have called to an honored place in your eternal kingdom, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, the power of God, cast into hell Satan, the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God bless you all. Have a very wonderful